This time, I'll talk about a beautiful cougar romantic drama. It's about a middle-aged woman's journey of self-discovery, love, betrayal, and desire, that you must watch. The film narrates the story of Maya, a 46-year-old married woman. She has very rigid routines and is a controlling, comfort-seeking woman. She works as a cardiologist and has a wonderful family in a harmonious suburban setting. She is currently finishing up her doctoral thesis with the goal of becoming a senior physician. On the home front, she is happily married to Clay's. She may think he can be a bit boring at times, but she adores the life they have made together with their adolescent son Magnus. Her spouse travels frequently for work and is a very busy person. Maya feels incredibly alone when her spouse is away. Although Maya's closest friends are content to date and enjoy life, but Maya refuses to betray her family. However, when Clays declares one day that he wants a divorce, her carefree life starts to fall apart. Clays has found someone else, who turns out to be Magnus gym teacher Suzanne. Clays advises Maya to visit a website that provides legal support and choose the option for an immediate divorce. Maya realizes she has lost the battle after making a few futile attempts to win him back. Upon realizing her loss, she promptly filed for divorce. Maya doesn't know how to be by herself. Signa, her friend and co-worker, drags her into town. While visiting the city, Maya meets a 25-year-old man who recalls how well she operated on him. Andreas, who is 20 years younger, charms his way into Maya, and they begin a heated passionate relationship. Andreas makes Maya roar like a moose because he is impulsive and energetic. He invites her on a canoe trip and lures her into the stream. He softens the otherwise controlled Maya with his affection, but she has some doubts. But she liked having him around, so she kept dating him. However, one day Maya notices her son Magnus and her new, younger boyfriend Andreas together at her house. Her son witnesses his mother Maya's affair with Andreas on that day as well. Later on, she asked Andreas to move on from her and find a younger girl, not to get in touch with her. However, as Maya rediscovers herself, she ends up disappointing her son Magnus, who is embarking on a classic teenage rebellion. Her son's hospital stay for diabetes-related complications makes her aware of her mistakes and motivated to make amends. Perhaps it's time for Maya to let go of control and discover her true calling in life. After a while of dating, Maya realized how much she liked Andreas. But he refused to invite her to his room despite her best efforts to persuade him. A few months later, Clays realizes his mistakes and tries to make amends by kissing his ex-wife, Maya, which leads to a passionate one-night stand. Afterwards, her ex-husband and friends all have a party. Following the celebration, Maya informs Clays that she will not tolerate having him back in her life. Following a few dramatic events, Maya is sitting there and Andreas is running towards her. When he sees her, they both smile and walk together. It is 2022 Danish romantic comedy drama directed by Lars Kolland. And the title of the film is Tag Min Hand. This is an exciting story that breaks stereotypes and proves that everyone has the right to decide about their lives. Dinesen portrays the scorned Maya brilliantly. She performs boldly and effortlessly conveys the various emotions of a woman. It seems convincing. It is she who carries the film. The film is basically about getting on in life after a divorce. Supporting cast also done a fine job. Both the main plot and the movie's conclusion are fairly obvious. However, it's enjoyable and fun thanks to the well-written screenplay, good performance, and excellent cinematography. This is all about the movie review. If you like our video please do like, share and subscribe.